a couple little things uh, I wanted to talk about in the last video. Um, but just a couple little tricks that I um, started using making my wires is uh, one, I made these the other direction. Um, but realized I liked working this way and not that way, so I flipped them over. But uh, I made these guides for where to um, strip the cables. So like here, you can see the shield drain would be here with a splice to another wire. And it, it just allows me to make all these cables the same in uniform and get my cable lengths correct, um, running from device to device. Um, like Garmin has very specific parameters that it says in the manual for, you know, the minimum maximum length to make this window here. And so I, I've just marked where the ideal position is and where the maximum and minimum is. And you can see this cable would be okay. Uh, but it just really helped speed up the process. Um, like this little dash here, I marked, you know, how long the, um, to strip for the, for D sub pins, uh, the ideal shield size that you're exposing, that sort of thing. Um, also, so I'm sure you've seen the boards where people lay out their wiring harnesses. Um, I don't have that here, but I did make this wire harness out of this uh, paracord and ran it through the plane and kind of measured um, how I wanted everything to go. And um, so the end of the wire would be where the tip of the pin would be. And so if I needed to run a wire from, um, now I'm off the airplane and I need to make a harness or a wire from the G5 to the G3X, well, I know that this is my length so I can spool my wire out from the spool and uh, stretch these two ends out. And, um, you know, it's hard to do with one hand here, but, you know, as I'm spooling wire out, I just go down this rope and um, get to the right device. So that's been really helpful with keeping the wire runs nice and neat and making the cable lengths um, the right length.